Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today I thought I'd show you guys how to uh, move um, VMware uh, host to host. So let's say if you have uh, two different uh, VMware ESXi servers and you want to bring one down for maintenance or you're just going to upgrade the server or whatever, um, and you don't have vCenter. So with vCenter, you can do all this uh, in real time without shutting down the server, but if you don't have vCenter and you're a pretty small installation, you just have a couple different servers, then what you can do is, there's two, well, there's two different ways you can do that. Let me bring this, this screen over. Uh, this is a vSphere client opened up here, but um, um, there's two different ways you can do this. You can uh, click on the, I don't know if you can see this, I hope you can see this. You can click on the summary and then you can browse your data store. And from there, you can just copy, let's say, uh, your whole folder over to your different server. So um, all the files for your individual server are stored in these uh, folders, you know, like the config files, MD, MDK file, um, and the basic hard drive. So this one's a uh, 200 gig, but yeah, I guess I had that thick provision. But um, okay, so this is actually, what you have to do with this, you have to download it. To your local machine and then upload it to the other machine which is a pain in the ass it could take forever i mean it's depending on the size of your, your virtual machine so um there's also well th this is actually I, I don't do it this way because it's a pain in the ass but uh what i use is a uh, it's called standalone converter and uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move my mail server over to my one of my other well my mail server virtual machine to one of my other esxi servers and let me uh, show you how I do this. Okay, I'm gonna convert machine. Well, give me one second. Let me. Uh, I got. I actually think you have to stop the virtual machine first. Let me. Let me come back here, and I will uh, get it stopped. Cool. Okay, guys, back here, and so on this screen you can see my uh, logged into the vSphere client. And this server actually has a domain controller. I have an email filter spam appliance, and then I have uh, my Exchange 2016 server. So, yeah, I have to uh, get these off. I'm actually on this server. I'm actually going to be upgrading the hard drives to two uh, RAID one uh, two terabyte drives. So I'm going to just totally reformat it with new drives and uh, install the latest version of. Uh, I use the Dell version of the uh, VMware six update. Uh, at least what I'm going to put in there is update two. Um, so let's go back to the, uh, so I think they're not going to give you like the best tools for free. This is, this is a free tool. So what kind of sucks about those tools, you actually have to make sure the, uh, the virtual machine is off before you can copy it over. But, uh, let me, okay. So we're going to hit the convert machine and I don't have to put it on the screen. So it's like my other screen. I'm going to log into the server that I need to copy the over, which is 192.168.1.36. And actually, by, on the top here, I choose it's powered off VMware infrastructure virtual machine. Right, password in there. Uh, I don't have a real SSL key, so. And I'm going to choose my Exchange server. So right now, I'm actually choosing the source server. And clicking next. So I got to move over my domain controller, my filter appliance, and my mail server. To this other server temporarily, and we go on. Go with that with this thing. Kind of kind of slow here, but All right, instead of waiting here, I'll just uh, stop the video and come back when it's there. We go. There we go. Huh? Okay, and the server I want to copy it to is thirty-five, and let's see here. I don't know why the video is weird. How it does? I don't know why it's doing this weird frame thing. So yeah, let's scoot over a little bit. That way. That's weird. That's stupid. All right, I'll be on this side. Going to be on this closer to this screen. I, I, what you can't see is I actually have four screens. So um, yeah, four monitors. And my other video saw like my uh, when I was building my other computer. At least this computer, the four screen computer. Um, okay. Password. All right. And next, ignore. 
And this is this is actually my other server, uh, the 135 server, or excuse me, 192.168.1.35. And on this one, I'm running my uh, test Cisco phone system uh, it's powered off. And I have my CRM, my secondary domain controller, my phone system, and my web server. So next is where I want to go. There's only there's 456 gigs free. And I don't know if there's an option where I can do it. It's going to require 200 gigs. I wonder if there's a way I could do uh, to change it from thick to thin provisioning options. Let's see here. Well, I guess you don't have all the tools like you would in vCenter, but. Well, okay, yeah, I guess not, man. That kind of sucks. But I, I was thinking I could actually hopefully convert it from a thick, which uses up you know when you shoot when you create the hard drive partition, it, you, know, you say two hundred gig, it basically says two hundred gig right here. Whereas I wanted a just thin partitioning is a where you actually you're all the the the, the file is only the size of the. Uh, of the use space. So, all right, then next. Oh, maybe I can write around. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess it is. Thick to thin. All right, cool. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to actually, I'm trying not to use up 200 gigs on that other server because it's just like a temporary uh, holding spot. Copy disk, maintain layout. There we go. Okay. And finish. So this will probably take a while, maybe like an hour, hour and a half. And, and we will see. There it goes. All right. So now you see the job on top here. It says 1%. And uh, it says one hour and three minutes. But it, it's funny, it fluctuates a lot. It goes back and forth. So um, yeah, I got to do this to my other two servers, my domain controller and my spam appliance. And uh, that should be it. Then I can actually format this server, install the two uh, two 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 terabyte drives, and rebuild the system and copy the uh, VMs back. So cool. But yeah, this is a lot easier than having to do with the copy. You know, I'm going directly from server to server, versus going from downloading to downloading the file to my computer and then going and re-uploading them. So all right, cool. Hope this helps somebody. All right, have a good day.